Crisis on Infinite Earths expanded the Arrowverse in a previously unimaginable way as it incorporated and canonized so many other live-action movie universes and TV show universes into the Arrowverse's multiverse. It basically means that nothing is off-limits, everything that DC has ever released is potentially a part of the Arrowverse's multiverse, and with that in mind, I wanted to go over every single live-action movie and live-action TV show that DC has ever released and go over which universe I think they would be from. Now, a couple of rules off the bat, I'm only going to be looking at DC movie and TV shows that are part of either DC or Vertigo or DC imprints. There's a Wikipedia page for all, like a list of all these things, and if it's not in one of those two categories, DC or DC imprints, then I'm not going to count it for this video. Also, no animated things, even though there's one animated universe, which is the which is Earth F, which is a part of the Arrow vs. Multiverse. I'm not going to be counting those because there's just too many to count, and if I can, I might get to it in a different video. And one last rule is that every single universe or Earth that is taken in the Arrowverse, any universe that has a single detail we know about it, any character we know about it, or that's from there, will not be counted. Those are all off limits because while there's nothing really saying for certain universes that they're not a part of the same universe, we can't really say that they are, so those are all off limits. With that in mind, I'll go over all the movies and then all the TV shows in order, but let's start with the first movie that DC ever released, Superman and the Mole Men, and all its sequels, basically every movie that starred Superman, that also starred George Reeve as the character. So, the first movie in this franchise of sorts, Superman and the Mole Men, came out in 1951. Based off that already, we could say Earth-51, because Earth-51 would be named after the year 1951, which is the, probably the most common uh, use for n names or Earths in the Arrowverse, just name it after the year the movie or TV show came out. However, for Earth-51 specifically, that's kind of off-limits. Earth-51 in the Arrowverse is a universe where Thaddeus Brown is from, and again, we can't really say they're not a part of the same universe, but the fact that that has any detail about it whatsoever, means that Earth-51 is off-limits. With that in mind, we'll just do Earth-151 instead, which is not taken whatsoever, and it is still named after the year 1951, as all you do is get rid of the 9. The next live-action movie released by DC that isn't already canonized is Swamp Thing, released in 1982. This is the first of three Swamp Thing-related things in this video. There's this, and then two TV shows that one of those TV shows, or maybe one of these movies or whatever, is going to be named after the year Swamp Thing was created, but for this one specifically, it's easy to just give it Earth-82, since that's the year it came out, 1982, and Earth-82 is not taken. Next up is Steel, which is skipping a lot of movies that you might not think is a part of the Arrowverse, Superman 3, Superman 4, Supergirl, Batman and Forever, and Batman and Robin. Now, I do think that all of those are a part of the Arrowverse. It was said that Superman Returns is a direct sequel to Superman 2, and 3 and 4 are not canon, but then in Crisis on Infinite Earths, Bat Superman from that universe mentioned or he referenced Superman 3, which I think nullifies that statement, and for Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, they're clearly sequels to Batman Returns and Batman, even though they have different main actors. Actors. With that in mind, the next one is Steel, which came out in 1997, so Earth 97. So, yet another bad movie, Catwoman, which came out in 2004. Now, because it came out in 2004, you could say Earth 4, which isn't taken whatsoever, but I'm saving Earth 4 for another movie, which I'll get to very shortly. So, instead, it could be Earth 204, which is, I think it works, because two, Earth 203, the one right next to it, focuses on the Birds of Prey, and the main character is Helena Kyle, the daughter of Selina Kyle. So, this one, which focuses on Catwoman, not Selina Kyle for some reason, but Catwoman, it fits to be right next to Birds of Prey, so Earth 200. And four. Next up is Constantine, the Keanu Reeves starring Constantine, which came out in 2005, and because it came out in 2005, you can say Earth 5, or you can do Earth 84, named after the year John Constantine was created. Either of them works, but I would prefer Earth 84, because Earth 5 is a little bit close to the main Arrowverse universe, Earth 1, which doesn't really matter very much, but I think Earth 84 fits this a little bit better. So now we have Batman Begins, and with it, The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. The Dark Knight trilogy is certainly, I think, one of the biggest things they could have possibly added to the Arrowverse. I mean, you got Smallville, Titans, the DCEU, which I'll get to in a bit, and then the Dark Knight trilogy, which is certainly up there. Now, you could say this would be Earth-5, much like Constantine. It came out in 2005. However, I don't really want it to be that. I think instead it would be, because this is probably the most beloved live-action portrayal of Batman ever at this point, I think it deserves to be named after the year Batman was created, 
Earth 39, named after the year 1939, which was when Batman was created. The same method that the Supergirl Earth uses, even though the Supergirl or that version of Superman is certainly not the most beloved version of the character, I still think that this version of Batman, I think, deserves to be named after the year Batman was created, so that would be Earth 39. Yet another 2005 movie is V for Vendetta, which is technically DC imprint, so I am counting it, and I think it's a pretty obvious, it's pretty obvious what this would be because of universes like Earth X, Earth F, and even Earth D. There are universes in the Arrowverse for some reason that are named after letters, and V for Vendetta would clearly be Earth V because, I mean, obviously, again, you could do Earth 5 because it came out in 2005, or maybe named after the year that V for Vendetta, the original comic, came out, which I didn't look up, but I'll put it on screen here. I think still Earth with V would definitely fit the most. Next up is Watchmen, which came out in 2009, the movie Watchmen, and I'll get to the TV show later, which is basically at the end of the video, but Watchmen is a movie that came out in 2009. You could say Earth 9, but that's taken by the Titans. You could also say Earth 209, or maybe even 2009, but however, this is the reason I made it so that Catwoman isn't Earth 4. Instead, Watchmen should be Earth 4 because the original Crisis on Avengers comic book, the Charlton Comics universe with characters like Blue Beetle and also the Question and Captain Adam, that was Earth 4, and later Watchmen was modeled after that universe, and while there isn't a universe in the Arrowverse or even in live action media to be like Earth 4, Watchmen would be the closest thing, so this, Watchmen, I think should be Earth 4, which is very close to the Arrowverse numerically, but still, I think that it works. Next up is Jonah Hex, a movie that came out in 2010, and because of that, it's pretty clear that it could be Earth 10, which isn't taken in the Arrowverse, and honestly, why not? Earth 72 is another possibility, that's the year Jonah Hex was created, but I'm saving that for another thing, which I'll get to later. For now, I think that Jonah Hex could easily be Earth 10. Up next would be The Losers, a movie I've certainly never seen. In fact, I haven't seen a lot of these movies. A lot of the movies DC released early on, especially, I mean, even in 2010, were movies that flew completely under the radar. But anyway, that doesn't really matter for this video. This came out in 2010, and that would mean Earth 10. However, that is taken by Jonah Hex. You could do Earth 210 or even 2010. However, I think I'm going to go based off the year The Losers were created, and that would be 1969. So The Losers would be on Earth 69, and that is pretty nice. Green Lantern came out in 2011, and Earth 11 is viable, or you can do Earth 40, the year that Green Lanterns were created along with Alan Scott. However, considering this is literally the only time Hal Jordan has ever appeared in live action, I think we should name this based off the year Hal Jordan was created. Hal Jordan, the second version of Green Lantern, the second human Green Lantern after Alan Scott, was created in 1959. So this, the Green Lantern universe, would be Earth 59. And finally, we get to the DC Extended Universe, which is probably the biggest thing they could possibly add to the Arrowverse. I doubt they ever will, but if they did, what universe would it be from? The most obvious choice would be Earth-13, the year that Man of Steel came out was 2013, and that's the beginning of the DCEU, which is possible, however, for the Arrowverse specifically, it is off-limits, because, or at least for this video specifically, because in the Arrowverse, Earth-13 is where Wells the Grey is from, and while it is at least possible he's from the DCEU, we can't say for sure that he is, and I doubt he is, so that is off limits. You could say Earth 213, but honestly, I would prefer something else. The DCE was basically the live action debut of the Justice League, and while they did technically appear before in Smallville and in this TV pilot, and even in the Arrowverse, not named the Justice League, the DCE was the first time they named them the Justice League in an actual movie. Because of that, I think the DCU should be named after the year the Justice League were created, which is 1960. So the DC Extended Universe would be Earth 60 in the era versus multiverse. Next up is The Kitchen, which is a movie that I didn't know about. I mean, I heard about it, but honestly, I just thought it hadn't come out yet. But this is a movie that is technically a part of DC imprints, so we do have to count it here. And it did come out in uh, 2019, so you could say Earth-19, but that is taken by the Accelerated Man Breacher Gypsy universe. You could say 219, or you could go to the year that The Kitchen was created, the comic book, which would be Earth-15, which is also taken by uh, a universe in the Arrowverse, which is completely desolate and completely destroyed. So I guess Earth 215 or Earth 219 are possible. I'll just go with Earth 215 for the hell of it. And let's move on to what a lot of people have been waiting for, I guess, which is Joker, which is technically the latest live action movie that DC has released. 
I've never talked about this movie on my channel for some reason, but I absolutely love this movie. It was so surprisingly great. But the question is not what my opinion is. The question is which universe would this movie be from? Well, like I said, Earth 19, which is the year it came out, 2019, is off limits. Earth 219 is possible. But instead, I want to name Joker after the year Joker was created, much like the Dark Knight trilogy or the DCU named after the year the Justice League was created. Joker is so the fact that it's just Joker in this universe. There are other characters like a young Bruce Wayne even like Alfred and Thomas Wayne or things like that, but Joker is the main character. It is. It deserves more than anything to be named after the year Joker was created, which was 1940. So this is Earth 40. In 1974, a Shazam TV show was released, which at the time I don't think was a part of DC yet, I don't think DC bought him yet, or at least he wasn't a part of the main New Earth, since that was, that happened during 1985 during the crisis, but in the comic Shazam was from Earth S, so why not just make this version of Shazam the only really like independent uh, Shazam thing in Earth S, since there's a Shazam movie well, that could be Earth S, but that's a part of the DCEU already, so there's no point of that, so Shazam I think should be Earth S, and, and I think lumping in with Shazam is the Isis TV show, The Secret of Isis, which isn't technically a part of the same universe as we know, but they were supposed to be released in tandem according to the DC Wiki, so I think we can lump them together on the same universe, Earth S. Next up is the 1988 Superboy TV show, which obviously coming out in 1988, Earth 8088 works, but I think I would go instead for Earth 45, which Earth 45 would be named after the number 1945, the year 1945, the year the original Superboy, the Earth 1 version of a Superman was created at that point as Superboy, so I do think that Superboy is on Earth 45. Next up is the first of two Swamp Thing TV shows, and also the second of three Swamp Thing related things. Now this Swamp Thing TV show started in 1990, that would be Earth 90, but that is taken by The Flash, the 1990 version of The Flash universe, and there's nothing saying that they're in the same universe, so instead, why don't we just name it after the year it ended, which would be Earth 93, named after 1993. Next up is Human Target, which is a TV show I never heard of, but apparently there was a Human Target TV show in 1992. Now, because it's 1992, Earth 92 is right there. I mean, that's the year it came out, and honestly, there's no reason we couldn't go with that, since Earth 92 is not taken, so I think Human Target is on Earth 92. Next up is Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman, which came out in 1993. Now, I already went over Earth 93, that's the Swamp Thing universe. Earth 97, which is the year that this movie ended, was already taken by Steel in this video. So instead, we could do Earth 193 or Earth 197. So I think Earth 197 fits perfectly. So that would be the universe Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman is from. DC released yet another Human Target TV show in 2010 this time, which is the one that I did, I do know about, or I did hear about before making this video, but considering it came out in 2010, you would do Earth 10, but in this video already it's taken by the Jonah Hex movie universe, so instead, let's go based off the year it ended, which would be 2011, so Earth 11. Next up is Gotham, which came out in 2014. Now, I would say Earth 39, the year that Batman was created, but that's already taken by the Dark Knight trilogy. So instead, I think Gotham should really easily just be named after the year it came out, which was 2014. So Gotham is, is Earth 14. Next up is iZombie, which came out in 2015, and it's the only thing that the CW has ever released that's based off something from DC that isn't a part of the Arrowverse, I'm pretty sure about that, but because it came out in 2004 and 15, Earth 15 is a possibility, but like I said earlier, that is a universe in the Arrowverse that is completely dead, we know something about it already, and even though it does fit because that's a dead universe, this is a universe about zombies, that does fit, but again, we can't really say it's a part of the same universe, it ended in 2019, and even then, Earth 19 is off limits. Earth 9, which would be named after the year 2009, the year that iZombie the comic was created. Again, off limits because that's the Titans universe. So instead, let's go back to Earth 15, and instead of Earth 15, let's do Earth 215. And even that in itself is taken in this video by The Kitchen. So instead of that, let's just do the year it ended, Earth 19, but instead of that, Earth 219. In 2016, we got Preacher, which is the only thing that DC released that isn't already a part of the Arrowverse in 2016, so Earth-16 would be a sure bet. However, in the Arrowverse, Earth-16 is where Star City 2046 is from, so that is taken. Instead, I think we should do this, the name this TV show universe after the year that Preacher, the comic book, was, was created, which would be 1995, so Preacher is Earth-95. 
Powerless is up next, and I think that honestly the year it came out or the year it ended is irrelevant considering for Powerless, the showrunner or somebody behind the show, I don't remember who exactly it was, but I remember them being asked like if this was a part of the Arrowverse, what universe it would be, and they said Earth P as a joke, and honestly considering there are lettered universes in the Arrowverse like Earth X, Earth D, and Earth F, I think Powerless, there's no problem for it to be Earth P in the, in the Arrowverse's multiverse. Next up is Krypton, which came out in 2018. I would say Earth 18, but in the universe that is already a taken universe. That's the universe where Hex is from, and the universe where Sarah, Barry, and Constantine, along with me also, took Oliver's body to revive him during Crisis on Infinite Earth. So that universe is taken. So instead, Krypton, I think, should be named after the year that Seg L, the main character of the show, the grandfather of Clark Kent, or Kal El, was created, and that would be 1988. So this universe would be Earth 88. So now we get to 2019, so let's begin with Doom Patrol, which I thought was a part of the same universe as Titans, but a lot of people have told me that it's not, and looking at the the leaked finale for season 1 of Titans that was never aired, it was supposed to be a part of a different universe while the Doom Patrol that appeared on Titans was the Earth-9 version of the Doom Patrol, or at least now would be the Earth-9 version, so Doom Patrol is technically a different universe. You could do Earth-8 or something, so it's really close to Titans, but that feels like a cop-out. Instead, let's name the Doom Patrol universe after the year of the Doom Doom Patrol were created, which would be 1963, so Doom Patrol is Earth-63. And then there's Swamp Thing, which is the third Swamp Thing related thing that, that's in this video. First the movie, then the TV show, but it's, I think it's this one that's going to, be, going to be named after the year the Swamp Thing was created, because otherwise it would be Earth-19, but that is obviously taken, or Earth-219, which in this video is already taken, and otherwise I would have to go like 2019, which isn't really possible. I mean, it is, but the, the Arrowverse has never gone over the number 900, not even gotten to 900, so I don't want to do that either for this video, but instead, let's name it after the year that Swamp Thing was created. Swamp Thing, or Alec Holland, was created in 1972, so Swamp Thing, the TV show, I think would be Earth-72. We're almost to the end, only three TV shows left, including this one, but Pennyworth came out in 2019, and just like the rest of the 2019 TV shows in from DC, it can't be Earth-19, because that is taken, and basically all of them have to be named after the year that their subject was created. That was true for Doom Patrol, true for Swamp Thing, and it's true for Pennyworth. Now, Alfred Pennyworth was created in, like, 1940 or something, but he wasn't given the name Pennyworth until way later, and since 1940, or Earth-40 is already taken by Joker, I think we should make it the year that Alfred Pennyworth Worth, the after Alfred Pennyworth we know to this day was created, which would be 1955, so Alfred Pennyworth, or Pennyworth the TV show, is Earth 55. The final TV show from 2019 from DC would be Watchmen, which is the second Watchmen related thing in this video. The first one was Earth 4, this one can't be Earth 4 because that's obviously already taken, and this is very clearly a different universe from the movie universe. Now this one, I think, just like the rest of the 2019 movies and TV shows, would be named after the year, or it would be named after the year it was created, but that's obviously not possible. Instead, we'll name it after the year that the subject of the TV show was created, which would be The Watchmen, created in 1986. So Watchmen would be 1986, or it's a TV show in the Lucifer universe, as we saw a billboard or a banner in Lucifer in the cameo in Crisis for Watchmen, but then again, so is Supergirl. Supergirl is a TV show not only in the Lucifer universe, but also in the Preacher universe, so even though it's a TV show in one of the universes, it doesn't mean it's, all, it's not a universe by itself, so Watchmen is Earth-86. So, the next one, Stargirl, has yet to be released, but I'm gonna count it because Stargirl has already been confirmed to be a part of the Arrowverse, and she'll be making her debut with a cameo in Crisis on Infinite Earths, either part 4 or 5, which is actually coming out in just a couple days from the making of this video, but I just wanted to guess what universe that would be from. It could be Earth-99, the year that Stargirl was created, but that's taken by the Kevin Conroy Batman universe, so that is off limits. Instead, because there's literally nothing else from the year 2020 so far, there's no reason it can't be named after that year year, which would be Earth-20. So in just a couple days, I guess, when Stargirl, the universe is is actually confirmed, come back to this video and let me know if I was right or wrong about the universe Stargirl is from. But that is every single live-action TV show and every single live-action movie that DC has ever released. But that is every single live-action movie and every single live-action TV show that DC has ever released now, which universe I think they would be from. And if there's a TV show or movie you didn't see in this video, it's probably either because it's for some reason not on the Wikipedia page, or it's already a part of the Arrowverse. I feel like the biggest one would be the 1985 Wonder Woman TV show, which is confirmed through a tie-in comic, so people wouldn't really know about it as much. But that is every single universe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What would you change? What would you, what would you think I, did, I got right? And if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe and thanks for watching.